Okay, so the book of the month I chose for July is this book right here by Catherine Center, and it's called The Bodyguard. I have never heard of this, um, never heard of this author before, um, and I read the synopsis of the book, and I thought it looked interesting to me. Um, it, I really, the kind of books that I like are fiction, contemporary romance, Sometimes historical romance, paranormal romance, uh, a lot of romance books. Sometimes I do like a random comedy. The ones that I don't really go for are the classics. I know that is bad, but um, it depends on the classic and sometimes it takes me forever to finish them. I do like fantasy and I've read a few science fiction books that I do enjoy. I did enjoy. So, this one, um, I think is a contemporary romance novel. Um, so it's The Bodyguard. This is what the side looks like. There's the logo for Book of the Month. And this is by St. Martin's Press. So this one is for July 2022. And I'll read you the synopsis of the book. It says, Best-selling author Catherine Center's Bodyguard is unabashedly romantic, laugh-out-loud funny, and the perfect summer read. Um, she's got his back. Hannah Brooks looks more like a kindergarten teacher than somebody who could kill you with a corkscrew, or a ballpoint pen, or a dinner napkin. But the truth is, she's an executive production agent, a.k.a. Bodyguard, and she just got hired to protect superstar actor Jack Stapleton from his middle-aged corgi-breeding stalker. He's got her heart. Jack Stapleton's a household name. He's captured by paparazzi on beaches the world over and famous for, among other things, rising out of the waves in all manner of clingy board shorts and glistening like a Roman deity. But a few years back, in the wake of a family tragedy, he dropped from the public eye and went off the grid. They've got a secret. When Jack's mom gets sick, he goes home to the family's Texas ranch to help out. Only one catch. He doesn't want his family to know about his stalker or the bodyguard thing. And so Hannah, against her will and better judgment, finds herself pretending to be Jack's girlfriend as a cover, even though her ex says no one will believe it. What could possibly go wrong? Hannah hardly believes it herself, but the more time she spends with Jack, the more real it all starts to seem, and therein lies the heartbreak, because it's easy for Hannah to protect Jack, but protecting her own long-neglected heart, that's the hardest thing she's ever done. So this, when I read this one, it sort of sounded like the kind of book that I would read. So this is what the author looks like. So I've never read any of, any any of the stuff that she's written before, I don't think. So Catherine Center is the best-selling author of laugh and cry novels about love and family, including How to Walk Away, Things to Save in a Fire, and Happiness for Beginners. The movie adaptation of her novel, The Lost Husband, hit number one on Netflix, and her books have made many best of lists. She's been compared to both Jane Austen and Nora Ephron. The Dallas Morning News calls her story satisfying in the most soul-nourishing way, and Book Page calls her the reigning queen of comfort reads. Catherine lives in Houston with her husband and two kids. Oh, cool. So she lives sort of like around the area where I live. So I cannot wait to read this one. Um, this is what it looks like without the book sleeve. So you have the Book of the Month logo. This is the spine. So I have yet to read any of the books that I got just because I have a bunch of books from the library out. And then this one, um, I was planning on picking this up for June, but like I said, I didn't get a chance to order it. So I just um, did it as an add on for my July order. So this is another contemporary romance, Abby Jimenez, Part of Your World is the title of the book. I believe... Um, I think this is almost the same kind of story as the bodyguard. I think um, one of them is in, uh, in the show business or something. It says, the blurb for the book is says, 
From the best-selling author of Life's Too Short comes a funny, powerful novel about trading in the life you have for the life you want. After a wild bet, gourmet, gourmet grilled cheese sandwich and cuddle with a baby goat, Alexis Montgomery has had her world turned upside down. The cause, Daniel Grant, a ridiculously hot carpenter who is 10 years younger than her and as casual as they come. The complete opposite of sophisticated sitter girl, Alexis. And yet, their chemistry is undeniable. While her ultra-wealthy parents want her to carry on the family legacy of world-renowned surgeons, Alexis doesn't need glory or fame. She is fine with being a mere ER doctor, and every minute she spends with Daniel in the tight-knit town where he lives, she's discovering just what's really important. Yet letting their relationship become anything more than a short-term fling would mean turning her back on her family and giving up the opportunity to help thousands of people. Bringing Daniel into her world is impossible, and yet she can't give up. She can't just give up the joy she's found with him either. With so many differences between them, how can Alexis possibly choose between her her world world and his? So it's not it's not showbiz. I thought it was for showbiz, but I guess they're sort of like just a carpenter and ER doctor. Oh, she's sort of like rich, and he's sort of like not. So this is the author for this book. Abby Jimenez is a Food Network winner and best-selling author. She founded Nadia Cakes out of her home kitchen back in 2007. The bakery has since gone to win numerous Food Network competitions and has amassed an international cult following. Abby's wry literary wit was spotlighted as the admin behind the hilarious viral comments on the now-famous Nadia Cakes fed. I don't know what how you pronounce that one, cake. Abby loves good romance, coffee, doglets, and not leaving the house. I do not like leaving the house either. But anyway, so this is my pick for June. Oh, this was Miss May. Never mind. This one is the May book. So, part of your world. So, like I said, they have, like, different books for different months. Um, I'm not sure what August is selections are yet but there's usually like five books um every month that you can choose from ranging from contemporary romance to uh, fantasy science fiction mystery I'm not sure i think they might have thriller there too but anyways so these are the two books that i got from book of the month um this is gonna be like another short video for you guys to watch and um that is it um if um you like this video thank you so much for listening to me ramble on about books um and leave a comment in the section below if you think you're going to be reading any of these books if any of them sounds interesting to you um i will leave a link for book of the month on the description box if you want to go check them out um and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos. This is kind of like not the normal videos that I normally um, upload. I mostly do stationery and all that stuff. But like I said, I'm trying to branch out just because I haven't been buying as much as I want. But anyways... Like I said, I've been rambling on for a while. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.